Hey guys, how you doing? So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple plane in Stormworks. And so let's not waste any time and uh, get right into it. Alright, so I am at my hangar of choice here. I'm going to go on the workbench and get started. So, mirror mode on and I'm going to start by laying out a few slides here. And I'm going to start off with the seat. I'm going to use a uh, compact pilot and I'm actually going to move that back. I'm going to simulate a control panel here just so I know where it is for reference. And then I will get an engine in here. Okay, so there's my engine setup. Could be a little more compact, but oh well. And uh, now I'm going to add on a propeller. So I'm just going to be using um, the aircraft propeller there and you can actually come into the settings and I'm going to change my blade pitch to neutral because I want to have it variable so I want to have it almost like a clutch okay so now we are going to need some wings for our plane and well you could use the included wing pieces or if you didn't know this then you can actually just use regular blocks um, they will all act as a wing in the right conditions um, so I'm just literally going to draw out a wing with so now I'm going to start building up a tail section I use just some wedges for that. Same story with the wings, we're going to be making some elevators and uh, just smaller wings I guess at the back. Okay, nothing crazy there, but the next thing we need is a rudder for some vertical stabilization. And there we go. We need some kind of control surface. So for that, I'm just going to be using normal fin rudders could use control fins or control surfaces I might use those but fin rudders and even normal rudders I'm pretty sure will still work to start with the ailerons here I'm going to turn off mirror mode to save some logic later on we're gonna make sure that these turn in the opposite direction as to roll placing that down and taking note of the negative and positive directions so we've got negative going up there, going to rotate and got positive going that way. So the same signal will send them in opposite directions. For the rudder, we only need one and that is simply going to be vertical. Okay, now to show off some control surface blocks here, I'm going to be using a small one. Okay, now I've just added a couple of landing gear. These are just fixed wheels on the bottom here and that's going to allow us to obviously take off. Now I'm going to start wiring up our control surfaces. What I'm going to do is first get the engine controls in, so a couple of throttle levers. To start off we want to control the collective or pitch of our propeller. So I'm going to assign that to the up down or the up arrow keys. Um, on my seat here. I'm going to take our control surface and I'm going to set that to WS. So next I'm going to add my roll to AD and as we have already flipped these it's simply a straight connection there, no problem. And then the last one left right to the rudder and I'm going to wire up my electronics and quickly take a little check just to see if my controls are the correct direction for what I want and uh, they seem pretty good I'm also going to add a few more blades maybe three just because I feel like we might need some more air so without further ado let's start her up let's see if we can take off see it full uh, and it's a bit janky, but 
There we go, we're up. And we're flying, it's very hard to control. And there we go, that's much better. So, I'm now flying. And uh, it's wanting to pitch up a little bit. So I might change some of that. Um, give it some more pitch control there. Maybe use a gyro. Um, like on a helicopter. But uh, that's for another tutorial if you want it. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you want more, then uh, definitely subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.